Production pipelines typically consist of a series of interconnected transformations. Common pipelines start at data ingestion and end at the ontology layer, with a series of cleaning and transformation steps along the way. Setting up data health checks and alerts is a great start to data health monitoring, but to be truly production ready, we must be able to monitor those checks at scale across a whole pipeline or even across a series of pipelines. You may have seen the data lineage tool in some of our previous videos. I'll now show you that same tool, but this time coming from a pipeline health lens with the goal of creating a lineage view that we can save and reuse for future pipeline health evaluation. So, continuing the trend from last video, let's hop over to Foundry and have a look at our aviation pipeline. Assuming we already have health checks set up on the important data sets, there are several ways we can utilize the data lineage tool to understand the health of our pipeline. The quickest and easiest of these options is to color the data sets by their health. With that coloring, I immediately have a high level bird's eye view of the health of this pipeline. Here we can see the coverage of our health checks, as well as the binary health status of each check. Now, whether you have 50 or 150 transformations in your pipeline, it will take you just one second to answer the question, is my pipeline running as expected? Or where are the problems in my pipeline? Then once there, we can take it down to the data set level to manage these expectations. Once we're happy with this view, we can save this pipeline as a file that we can quickly refer to at any time without needing to reconstruct the health view that we've just built. Now, that's all well and good when you want to see a high level overview of your pipeline, but now what if you want to dig one level deeper? The data health tab basically takes this overview to the next level as we can now see the types of checks across our pipeline as well as their performance. This is a quick and easy way for us to trace back any problems that arise in our pipeline. For example, if you notice a sync failure on an ontology backing data set, one of the first things to check is whether the backing schema has changed. So to root cause that, we can easily look to see if there were any unexpected schema changes upstream of that transform. And that's just one example of how you can use the data health tab check breakdown to root cause some problems that may arise in your pipeline. So those are just two quick ways that we can gain an overview of the health of our pipeline utilizing pre-established health checks. Thanks for watching.